Hey guys, welcome back. I know there are many videos on YouTube about Kali Linux installation that almost covers everything. So why I'm making this one? Well, uh, I believe that there are still some gaps that needed to be filled. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we'll be installing the latest version of Kali Linux on virtual machine. In this case, the base operating system I'm using is Windows. Of course, uh, you can use this process on any operating system of your choice. The basics will still remain the same, right? So first of all, uh, we will be needing VirtualBox. So I'm assuming that you have already installed the VirtualBox on your system. If you uh, don't have it, you can just go to their official website, which is virtualbox.org uh, or something like that. I'll provide the link in the description. So you can just go there and download the latest version of it and install it. And uh, then the next step will be to download the ISO file of Kali Linux. So now let's download the latest ISO file for Kali Linux. Uh, so in order to do that, let's just go on web browser and type Kali Linux IO. So you will see the first website, which is the official website. So uh, many people get confused about uh, which iso to download should i download the virtual machines one or the image installers on some uh, or you know uh, something else so the thing is uh, just go with the standard one which is these uh, don't get confused while we are uh, installing this on virtual machine which is virtual box so so it is kind of uh, for virtual box and vmware but we we'll, won't be using this one we'll be using the standard one so just go on this and choose your system uh, i hope uh, you are using a 64 bit but if you are using a 30 32 bit which is kind of old so you can just download it according to your system if you are using an apple silicon that is also all right so i'm using 64 bit so i'll be using uh, this one so out of these four uh, just go with the standard installer which will be somewhere around 4 gb for right now it's 4 gb so once you click this icon a download will start here you can see that the download has been started so i've already downloaded it and there's no need to download it again for me so i'll just cancel this so now you guys have the idea which iso file you need to download in order to get your linux up and running right so now that we have uh, our iso file let's get into the more important part which is creating the instance for the machine make sure you follow every step mentioned to avoid any errors or failures right so open your virtual box so just ignore the other machines i have uh metasploitable 2 and linux running so uh, we'll be installing a new version which is the 2024 version this is an old version right so in order to create a new instance of kali linux what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, clicking on this new icon you can see and we'll be providing a name let's just say for now Kali Linux there is no need to change the folder which is the installation folder now the main purpose is ISO file right so just click the click here and select browse and here you can see that we have downloaded the ISO file which is 2024.2 which is the latest one so I'll be opening it and it will automatically detect the version type which is the Debian Ubuntu 64 bit and type is Linux right so now there is no need to, for you to uh, use this right and just ignore the unattended install click on the hardware now and what we will be doing is this is the basic amount of RAM you need to provide right so I'll be providing 2 GB of RAM and let's just say one is processor is one one CPU is more than enough right now the hard disk option right this is important uh, so you need to choose create a virtual hard disk now okay oh, so what it will do is it will pack up a 25 GB from your uh, it will create a 25 GB separate uh, partition on your system and it will allocate this 25 GB to your Kali Linux machine right that way your 
data which is on your machine won't be affected and won't be mismatched right won't be mixed so you can uh, use also use an existing virtual hard disk if you have uh, created a hard disk before right so there is no need to uh, go in these two options right so just go with the standard one and let's just hit finish right so now our machine basics have been done what we need to do is we'll start the instance and follow up with the instructions which appear on screen right for the installation process don't get confused uh, when i say instant instance creation the process we did right just right now was the creation of the instance right and the process we are about to do is the installation process right so graphical installation or install right we'll go with the install so now you can see that uh, we have a bunch of option to select uh, the language uh, i'm going with english okay, so now uh, it is scanning all the information right installation media and all they detecting whether the components have been correctly uh, aligned or not right whether you have the virtual disk or not whether you have the space or all the processes like that so let's just wait for now okay now you can see it is uh, uh, configuring the network right it is detecting whether you have a ethernet or your uh, wi-fi adapter or whatever the network uh, you are using on your current operating system so uh, let's just go with the so so now what it needs you to do is a uh, system is asking for you to configure your network right so first of all we'll be providing a host name uh, let's just say kali for now you can again uh, choose any name you want but you need to remember it right so this is the host name of your machine uh, again you can uh, toggle between these options using tab right and hit enter on continue domain name let's just uh, say that we currently don't have uh, use of this uh, particular feature so we'll continue with a blank and again uh, full name of the user again you can use it as you can enter your name or you can uh, add your right whatever the login credential you want to have right so let's just say i am uh, giving it a name like lucifer which i usually use so let's just hit continue again your username for your account uh, again same now the password for new user uh, make sure you use a simple password uh, for right now because many i've seen many people use a complex password and when they try to log in there is some error right they uh, were not allowed to log in or you know there is some kind of mismatch in the password so you can always change the password uh, again so let's just say keep it a simple one right and uh, continue uh, okay i need to verify my password and let's just say continue again apologies for the background noises actually i'm not at my uh, usual location so and it's uh, raining outside so it's kind of hard to record you know uh, a video on a different location right while this is setting up uh, let's just say okay so uh, again listen very carefully right so you have bunch of options here so when uh, when we were setting up the instance we used create a virtual disk now and assigned it a 25 gb of uh, space right so if we didn't do that we needed to select a different option and we needed to create a uh, create partitions right because we are on a different operating system we are using windows as our base operating system and we are installing uh, another operating system on it using virtual box right so if we do not if we have used some other options and use entire disk your all of your data will be uh, will be deleted right but uh, since we have used a virtual hard disk we have created 25 uh, gb hard disk so you can just go with a guided 
uh, first option use entire disk because I have provided 25 GB of space and here you can see that uh, 26.8 GB ATA whatever hard disk was detected right so this is the partition we need to uh, provide it right hit enter and just go with the uh, all files in one partition right for new user uh, you can see uh, here it is recommended for new users so assuming you are installing it for the first time you want to uh, you know you want to get started with Kali Linux operating system on your virtual box so just go with this option no need to separate home partition home or well we will uh, cover in cover those parts in some other video right so just go with this and uh, finish partition and writing uh, changes to the disk right so this is the swap memory you can see uh, 1 GB and then again the 25.8 GB something like that is our usually primary storage right so just hit enter to continue and uh, write changes to the disk again you can toggle between yes and no using tab and I'm hitting enter to confirm so now uh, what it we have configured the network we have uh, successfully created the partition right we have uh, successfully loaded all the components of the instance well now is the uh, main system uh, working right so the main system is being installed on your uh, assigned partition so this process will take some time uh, according to your again according to your hardware configuration of your uh, pc or laptop or whatever you are using right now so now what system asks you is at the moment uh, only the core of the system is installed the default selection below will install kali linux with the standard desktop environment so uh, this is kind of a gui graphical user interface where you can use uh, different interfaces right so just uh, go with the continue button. Uh, there is no need for you to you know uh, select or deselect or uh, trigger any of that or toggle any of these options so i'm gonna hit uh, continue again and what it uh, does is it's currently installing uh, the upper software which is kind of a gui i already explained that right so the base system was installed the uh, files were configured now let's just wait for this to complete so the previous process was completed and now it is loading uh or it is installing actually the group install the Grub bootloader on to your primary device drive. Yes, uh, this is the drive I'm using. Enter again. Make sure you uh, follow the steps correctly because if you don't choose a, uh, the option to create the virtual hard disk of a specified uh, amount of space, that in my case it was 25 GB, then you might lose your data, right. So proceed with caution and follow every step as follows, right? Okay, so you can see that the installation is complete. So it's time to re reboot onto your new system. Okay, make sure you remove the installation media so that you can boot into your system rather than restarting the installation. Well, it is, uh, well, you don't need to you know remove any installation media because we are not uh, installing our Kali Linux as our main operating system we are installing over uh, Windows right so just hit continue and it will just restart your VirtualBox machine instance right and hopefully we'll get into our system okay so far so good uh, let's just see Kali Linux it is and it seems that the installation worked properly let it just load <clears throat> okay so now you can see that uh, it's asking me for the login credentials just provide the login credentials we used or you uh, you know you created on the installation process
so we are in it's gonna take some time to load the icons and all that stuff okay so now you can see that we have Kali Linux installed and this 2024.2 version has really looking cool this logo I mean I might have this logo as my wallpaper on windows also so here you can see that uh, we have installed the Kali Linux latest version on VirtualBox. The process was straightforward. Of course, it was kind of confusing if you are a new user. So make sure you follow the steps correctly. If you have any doubts, you can comment them in the comment section. Of course, we'll see you in the next one. Till then, keep learning and keep exploring. Bye-bye.